Okay, this one we're going to solve for y, 2x minus 3y equals 12. We've got to get the y by itself. Okay. Um, so there's a couple of things going on here. Y is being multiplied by a negative 3, and then we have a 2x being added on. So um so I, i'm actually yeah so so basically the first step is we've got to subtract the 2x from both sides subtract the 2x from both sides and see what we get now most a lot of students are just going to write down 3y here. What's the mistake? They're forgetting the... The negative. Negative, right. So that should be a negative 3y equals 12 minus 2x. Yeah, so the negative comes down. And I'm just going to do a real easy example over here just for fun, just to show how... What, what it looks like. It's kind of like, imagine instead of 2x minus 3y, imagine we had something like 20 uh, minus 8. So instead of 2x, we got 20. Instead of 3y, we've got 8 equals uh, 12, right? So that makes sense. 20 minus 8 is 12. If I want to uh, solve for 8, which is what we're doing, I'm going to subtract 20 from both sides, right? And on the on the right here, I have 12 minus 20. Now, 12 good guys minus 20 bad guys is 8 bad guys, negative 8, right? Um, and I shouldn't have wrote that down because that wasn't what I was trying to do. I was trying to write, I want to write down 12 minus 20 like we have here, 12 minus 20. And over here, and that is negative 8. So on the left, we can't just have 8. We've got to have negative 8. So I don't know if that kind of helps explain why that negative comes down. But also think of it, this is, a subtract is also a plus negative, like 2x plus negative 3y. So it's a negative 3y that has to be there. So y is being multiplied by negative 3. And to get it on its own, I actually have to divide by negative 3 as well. Does that make sense? Um, but I have to divide everything by negative 3. So divide this by negative 3 and this by negative 3, right? Um, and why is that? Well, like, uh, I guess this isn't a great example. Well, it kind of is. Like, if I had this crazy equation here, negative 8 equals 12 minus 20, and I wanted to divide that by, say, a negative uh, 2, I would have to divide everything by negative 2 to make it correct. Because watch this. Negative 8 over negative 2 is a 4. 12 over negative 2 is negative 6. Negative 20 over negative 2 is plus 10. And now it all works out because 4 equals negative 6 plus 10, which is 4, right? So you've got to divide everything by, by the same number. Um, and we had simple examples also, like if you had, say, uh, 20 apples and, um, you know, 10 bananas, um, and that was equal, that, that all cost um, $10, let's say. Just for fun, divide everything by 10 and look how the equation makes sense because now it says two apples plus one banana cost one dollar, right? So when you divide by a number, you got to divide everything. I think I beat that to that, no? Yeah. Okay. So this is a y equals 12 over negative 3, negative 4, and then negative 2x over negative 3 is negative over negative positive. 2x over 3, or 2 thirds times x, same thing. That's the same thing as 2x over 3. 2 over 2 thirds times x, right? Same thing. Um, and now we're just going to rewrite it with the x 
uh, term on the left and the number on the right. So the 2x on the left and the negative 4 on the right, and it looks like what? y equals 2. What is that? 2 over 3. 2 thirds x, yep. Minus 4. Perfect, yep. All right.